it's me again. Um, welcome to season one, episode two of the cheese board series. Today we're going to be making a dessert cheese board. It's actually like a s'mores cheese cheese board, but um, we're adding different um, little snacks to it to make it really delicious. Um, I'm dressed for my casual backyard slash deck campfire, you know, have to match the theme as always. And um, I'm really excited to show you guys how to throw this together. It's literally everything that you can buy. You don't have to make anything. Um, and I'll go through it really quick. So right now we have just graham crackers. Um, they have gluten-free ones um, for those with sensitivities like Use whatever you want. Use chocolate chip cookies for all I care. Whatever you want. I have these um, yogurt pretzels that are really tasty. You can use white chocolate covered ones or milk chocolate ones. I don't like white chocolate, so I got yogurt, but you can use whatever you want. Um, I have some dark chocolate covered almonds right here. They're very delicious and very, very, very just texturally yummy. Um, I have mini peanut butter cups, my favorite. Um, I have some raspberries, which honestly you would have to buy them the day of because they don't last. And um, I have strawberries. I've rinsed them. I will cut them on camera with you and hopefully nothing comes out of them because I know TikTok's been kind of making um, this crazy thing about strawberries and I haven't tested it, but you know, we'll see you today. And if I just abandon my show and run away, you'll know why. And you know, that'll be the end of that. Um, and then here, this is just the board itself, guys. The episode's over. Look how beautiful this is. We have some marshmallows. Um, I found these without gelatin. They have like agar agar in it. Um, that's just because that's what I prefer. And I have milk chocolate, uh, milk chocolate bar. And then I have the white chocolate cookie bar of the same brand. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Um, so we have that. And then I have this cute little dish to put my marshmallows in, um, and I'll show you what I'm gonna use this for as we go. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I have this beautiful platter. Um, I bought it from William Sonoma if anybody wants to get it, it was like 20 bucks. Um, whoa, I had it, I have it in a bunch of colors. Um, they're very handy. Um, you could use a wooden cutting board like I've done before for other cheese boards. Um, just like, you can use anything. You can use a plate, like a tray, anything. Um, to get started, we will start with like the crackers and I'm gonna bring them here. They're gonna be crummy. And I'm just going to break them up. And this is always just like a task because you want it to be perfect. And like, if it's not perfect, you either have to eat it or you have to scrap it. And I don't like wasting food, and I also don't want the extra carbs if I don't need them. Um, so I'm just gonna break these up. And it's literally, this is just me showing you how to assemble it. I promise I will be cooking. This is just, let's get started. Um, and then I have these Hershey, um, this Hershey bar, and I saw this thing and it'll kill me to do it, but they broke it, not like, they didn't break it like this. They broke it like crooked. I mean, I still broke it, right? Um, so I'm gonna try that and it's not working because I'm just OCD. Um, so we're just gonna, we'll do this like different sizes like that. And that's there. Then I have my chocolate bar and I can't let, my OCD won't let me do anything but that. So we're just gonna break this up and pile this around. Of course, I have to have the label facing the same way. Um, and honestly, I really like how these chocolate um, cookie crumbs look. That's why I've inverted them. But you can you can do that. Um, I'll probably like flip it back to normal just after we're done filming. Um, and just it's it's a layering game. And then here. This little cast iron dish, um, I'm just gonna put these marshmallows in it and we're going to kind of like make a flower, a marshmallow flower. Look at how perfect that fits, you guys. 
And then um, I think I'm gonna squeeze three in here because we're gonna make it nice. We're gonna pack it in. And this is actually gonna go over to my oven and I'm gonna broil it for like a minute just to get the top toasted. If you have um, like uh, a torch, you can torch them too. I ordered one, it's not here yet, but I'm gonna put this here for now. That'll be my marshmallow. And then I'm also, and I wanna use this, I wanna use this kind of as my barrier to keep my almonds from rolling. So I'm just gonna pile those right there. You see, like now they won't roll away. Amazing. Good job, Ilya. And uh, we have these chocolate peanut butter cups. Obviously they can go on the other side. They can really just go wherever you want them to go. Just pile it on. I'm like, what a cute little like treat. Like you have guests coming over and like you put five minutes into making it look pretty and your guests are just like, wow, amazing. And really it wasn't that much work. And then I have chocolate covered pretzels. I'm trying to figure out where I want them. A couple, I'm just gonna kind of like put them scattered. I'll put them over here. Oh, they're not chocolate covered, they're yogurt, sorry. Um, I actually like them all over here. I like that white with the white chocolate aesthetic. I like that, it looks great. And the last thing I'm missing is my berries. So the berries can go wherever you want them to really. And this is just your pop of color. It's some freshness. It's always good to have fruit. Um, I love eating fruit with everything. Fruit and veggies are definitely my thing. And then strawberries, like moment of truth. I'm gonna let me wipe this down so we don't have crumbs everywhere. Um, and the moment of truth here for a strawberry is not what TikTok said there would be in it. So I'm glad. And I'm just going to pile them with the leaves. I love having a little bit of green. Um, yeah, I don't know what those people were doing. Like what? My strawberries are perfectly fine. Um, beautiful. And I'm just piling these right here. And then I'll put more raspberries on this side. These are really like ripe guys, so I don't know. We might, we might just have to do like three of them and a couple more strawberries. Yeah, my strawberries are free of anything that shouldn't be in strawberries. So I'm glad that, that has happened. And honestly, I might not even, you like, you don't have to go ahead and torch these marshmallows until, right until you are um, about to serve because you want them to be piping hot and melted. I will um, go ahead and show you guys a picture on the channel about what that looks like. <laughs> but I had to show you guys how I make a s'more because it wouldn't be a s'mores cheese board without me having a s'more and this is just my excuse to get to eat this so um, I'm gonna turn my flame on and um, we're going to I hope you are able to do this without trouble but I'm just gonna put this on the flame like people do Ooh, getting toasty whoa okay caught on fire and let everyone make their own because you shouldn't be blowing on other people's stuff right now. And um, it's melty. So I'm gonna put that here and then grab a, a graham cracker. Look at that, look at that. Mm, yummy, look at that sizzle. And bam. 
Let the chocolate melt a little bit. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's oozing. Um, okay, and that's how, that's how I make a s'more. That was a lot of excitement. You probably don't get as excited. Um, I'm, I hope you do because s'mores are delicious. I'm not gonna eat this right now because it's gonna be really messy, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe to my channel, um, and then watch out for more. This was the end of episode two in season SZN1, um, and this is the cheese board series. Um, I can't wait to show you guys what else I have planned for you. Bye.